Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're starting off in Montello, Wisconsin. Video footage sent in by Michelle. The original over here on the left. I zoomed in over here on the right. She saw this thing drifting through the sky, stopped her car, got out and started filming this thing, whatever it is. She didn't know what it was. I don't claim to know what it is. Here it is, slightly enhanced in various formats, trying to pull forward, once again, any features on this thing, whatever it is, moving through the daytime sky. And it appears to be slowly falling from the sky towards the ground. Here I put it in slow motion, used some different format techniques, and zoomed in as close as I could get without becoming too overly pixelated. And you can clearly see why she stopped, got out, and started filming, because this obviously wasn't a helicopter, wasn't an airplane, didn't look like any normal balloon that you would see in the daytime sky. Just an odd looking dark object drifting through the daytime sky. If you guys know what that was, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Also in this video, I'm going to take you guys over to San Diego, California, where I've received some more bizarre footage of yet another hyperactive palm leaf trying to get the attention of a gentleman over in San Diego, California. Just truly bizarre. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomenon photos, and have them all around the world. But first over here at the website, quick look at the moon phase today. Full moon, December 19th of 2021. Looking at the Schumann resonance, been active for the last 72 hours. More than likely that can be traced back to the sun. Looking at the power outage situation across the United States, still have just over 12,000 customers in Michigan without electricity from the storm several days ago. But all of the other states that were affected by the severe weather are back in business. Hopping over to the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano. A little bit of magma intrusion and as you can see, the dark blue across the seismographs. And then an unusual earthquake signature that I could not relate to any large earthquakes anywhere else around the world. So this must have been some sort of a localized event. And I clicked on the seismo over here at Soda Butte, and you can see the, the earthquake signature. Not a huge one, but nevertheless, that's above average. And then all of these other ones are very small earthquakes. You can see a red line right there. That is a very small earthquake, but that tells me those are local earthquakes kind of like we see here in central Kansas of all places a localized earthquake swarm in central Kansas are you serious one being a 4.0 magnitude coming in at 1.9 miles deep and there are 12 earthquakes on this map that you're looking at dated December 15th of 2021 regarding a earthquake swarm in central Kansas. Keeping a close eye on that for sure. Now I want to take you guys over to Southern California. Are they trying to tell us something? We're in the San Diego area. Video footage sent in by Justin B of yet another very hyperactive palm prawn that seems to be waving for unknown reasons. And he was absolutely taken back by this thing. And he makes a comment here. The leaves are not even moving. And he's talking about the other leaves. Nothing else is moving in this area. This branch here is what caught his attention. He stopped and recorded this for the better part of five minutes. I'm going to share a couple of minutes of the video footage of this thing as it is extremely active as he's standing here watching it. Almost like, like I said at the beginning, it's trying to get his attention. And you can see it's moving so fast that it's shaking the other branches down here below. That is super weird. We've seen this before, off and on this year from various locations around the world. And you can tell it's not windy, it's not stormy, there's not any vehicles passing by that could be stirring up the wind. He's just standing here on what looks like a peaceful night. It's very quiet. And this thing here is just bouncing around for unknown reasons. Here in just a second, I put it in fast forward just to show you how out of place this thing really looked. And it was moving fast compared to the other ones who are just barely moving, if any movement at all compared to that one there. Okay, you're going to see me put it in fast forward here in just a second. Okay, right there, I put it in fast forward. The reason I do that is for two reasons. Number one, it shows just how fast this thing is moving compared to the other ones. And if the other ones were moving, when I put it in fast forward, you would be able to see the other ones moving as well if there were any other ones moving, and there's not. Here it is in fast forward, and it still is the only one moving at a very unusual pace. Shouldn't be moving at all compared to the, the rest of the leaves in its vicinity because they're not moving. He says, wow, there, this is when he first saw it. Like I said, he was very taken back. 
He says, wow, again, like, why is this thing here bouncing around, you know, almost as if it's trying to get his attention, waving at him or anybody that will look in this direction. He says here, I'm telling you that all of the leaves aren't doing this. And it's pretty obvious they're not. Here it is again in fast forward. Again, when I put it in fast forward, it should amplify any other leaves that are moving in the background. And they all stay perfectly still, except for that one in the middle. Excellent observation by Justin out of San Diego, California. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos, sniff them all around the world. Working on some video footage sent in by Carlos Skywatcher out of Portugal involving the moon you guys are going to see here in a couple of days. He also took this video here of something moving through the daytime sky. He was filming the sky when what looked like a long black object went in front of his field of view. Doesn't appear to be a bird. You don't see any wings moving up or down. And here's a still image of the moon footage Carlos shared with me. And you can see right here what we're going to be looking at in a couple of days. I'm still working on that video footage. Looked like something leaped off the surface of the moon. Photo here sent in by Robert B. from Oak Hill, California. This is in the Victorville area from that freak storm back on the 14th that went through Southern California and across the Central Plains. Beverly out of Orilla, Ontario looked up and saw a massive circle up in the sky that at the time was encompassing the moon over there on the right. See the moon? And then here in this next photo, you can see it kind of drifts over to the right and the moon is out of the photograph. But that definitely looks out of place. Big circle and otherwise a clear blue sky. Another photo of something that looked out of place sent in by John M. Not sure of the location. Cloud right here kind of looks like it's falling out of the sky. Similar observation made in Tennessee by Faye and Lee of clouds that kind of look like they're falling out of the sky. Frankie out of Concord, New Hampshire. Very intense rings around the moon. Now we're going to the Bronx, New York. Photos sent in by Alberto G who noticed a large hole punch cloud way off in the distance above the Bronx. And you can see what looked like thick cloud cover and then right there, way off in the distance, a large circle just appeared out of nowhere. Eric S. out of Harvard, Illinois. Another one up by Chicago, Illinois. Big hole punch cloud. Almost looked like a, a ship went up through the, the layer of clouds off into space. Photo here sent in by LM out of Mesa, Arizona. Got another unique cloud in the sky that kind of resembles some sort of a ship in the sky above Mesa, Arizona. You can see how, how large this thing actually was in an airplane way up in the sky above the very unique cloud. Starla 07 out of Long Island, New York. Notice these unusual bar lights in the sky. Managed to grab a, a couple of photos of these and this does not look like an airplane. Don't know what that was. She just happened to catch a glimpse of it as she was outside and sent those two photos in of an unknown object above Long Island, New York. Photo here sent in by Bob G. out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. What looks like a triangle craft, some sort of an unusual orb in the sky. And then this photo here of a couple of lines. I don't know if those were the remnants of meteors that entered the sky above Philadelphia. Gary C. out of Yorkshire, United Kingdom. Lavender looking sky with what looks like, once again, little ships parked in the sky above the United Kingdom. Another pink sky from Bristol, UK. Photos sent in by Mark S. and those are unedited. Hennig K. out of Haslett, Texas also noticed a, a purple sky above Texas. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming. And don't forget to order your brand new 2022 Sky Phenomena Photo Calendar as 2022 is right around the corner. Simply click on this banner right here. You can find the link down below in the description box. It will take you here to this website where you can order your wall calendar or this year we're offering a desktop calendar. Either way, whichever one you choose, if any at all, they'll mail it directly to your home. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.